Ever wondered how the mighty Roman Empire managed to conquer vast territories? A large part of their success was due to their advanced artillery. The Romans were not just warriors, they were innovators. They borrowed, improved upon, and devised a complex array of siege weaponry over the centuries. Many of these designs were inspired by the Greeks, their predecessors in the art of warfare. Siege towers and battering rams were steadfast staples on the battlefield, serving as the brute force needed to break down the enemy's defences. But it was the sophisticated artillery that truly set the Romans apart. These weren't just tools of destruction. They were instruments of intimidation and psychological warfare, striking fear into the hearts of their enemies. The Roman Empire's siege weaponry was just the beginning. Their true power was revealed in the form of their artillery. And what a formidable sight it must have been, these machines of war primed and ready, poised to unleash the might of Rome upon the world. Among the artillery, one stood out for its power and size, the Onager, named after the wild donkey for its powerful kick. This formidable machine of war was a marvel of Roman engineering, a testament to their ingenuity in the face of adversity. The Onager was unique in its design, employing torsion power instead of a counterweight. This allowed for a fixed base and an arm that was wound in twined hair or sinew, offering immense energy storage and release. At the end of this arm, a sling was positioned, designed to hold a large stone ball. When released, this stone could be launched at great speed and with devastating force, capable of shattering enemy walls and gates. The Onager was a true behemoth, a testament to the might of Rome and a terrifying sight on the battlefield. The Onager was a formidable weapon, but it was not the only arrow in Rome's quiver. The Romans were not only about brute force, they also valued precision, as demonstrated by their use of dart-firing weapons like scorpions and ballistas. The scorpion, a smaller yet deadly weapon, was designed with precision in mind. Like a vigilant predator, it was used to pick off men off enemy walls, turning the battle in favour of the Romans. Its smaller size allowed for better manoeuvrability, and a keen eye was all that was required to send a dart flying straight into the enemy's ranks. Then we have the ballista, a colossal beast of a weapon that was akin to a giant crossbow. Standing up to six metres tall, the ballista was not only intimidating, but also deadly accurate. It could fire darts so massive they could pierce two or three men at once. Imagine the fear it would instill in the hearts of the enemies. Perhaps even more impressive were the repeating ballistas. By constantly turning the handles, these could fire several shots in quick succession, raining down terror on the enemy. The scorpions and ballistas were the sniper rifles of their time, picking off enemies at a distance with deadly accuracy. The Roman Empire may have fallen, but their influence on warfare, particularly artillery, continues to this day. The brilliance of Roman engineering and strategy is encapsulated in their artillery. The Onager, with its powerful kick, brought down the mightiest of enemy walls and gates. The Scorpion, a dart-firing weapon, was the bane of men on enemy walls, picking them off with deadly precision. And the Ballista, a giant crossbow standing up to six metres tall could unleash massive darts that could pierce multiple opponents at once. These formidable machines didn't just change the course of battles, they changed the course of warfare itself. They were more than weapons. They were technological marvels that showcased Roman innovation, power and strategic acumen. Their legacy is imprinted in the evolution of artillery, influencing designs and strategies long after the fall of the Empire. The Roman artillery, an awe-inspiring testament to Roman engineering and strategic prowess, played a pivotal role in shaping the Empire's history and the future of warfare.